Do you know that one person who doesn't even have a bit of stress before the exam? When you're sitting with 10 open books, two cups of coffee, and an existential crisis, they're completely relaxed. But what if I told you there's a scientific method that makes studying so effective it feels like you're cheating? These aren't random tricks. These are scientific and neural neuroscience techniques that top students use, even if they don't know it themselves. So let's break the system down scientifically. The science of remembering. Most people don't fail exams because they're stupid. They fail because they use the wrong methods for learning. Highlighting, rereading, flipping through pages aimlessly, none of them help your brain retain information. The brain learns through recall and repetition. It's like building muscle. Every time you recall, the memory pathway becomes stronger. Now what's the technique? The memory ladder. Input stage. Read or watch the concept once. Reinforcement stage. After 24 hours, write down everything you remember without looking at your notes. Active recall stage. On day 3, 7, 14, and so on, use flashcards, practice questions, or the Feynman technique, meaning explain it in your own words. Mastery stage. Mix old and new topics together. This is called interleaving, which has been proven to increase memory retention by 70%. Each stage builds upon the previous one. It's like you're leveling up your brain. By exam week, you're no longer studying, you're retrieving from memory. The science of focus. Your problem isn't focus, your problem is dopamine management. The brain's reward system has been hijacked by constant stimulation. Instagram, notifications, and random dopamine rewards. That's why when you try to study, your brain feels bored, because its excitement level is out of balance. The scientific solution? The dopamine detox rule before studying. 30 minutes before starting to study. No phone, no music, no social media. Let your dopamine level return to normal. Then start your session. Your focus will increase tenfold. Use the upgraded version of the Pomodoro method. Instead of 25 minutes of study, do 50 minutes of deep work, plus 10 minutes of recovery. After every three cycles, take a 30-minute break. This pattern aligns with the ultradian rhythm, the natural cycle of focus and recovery that successful people and chess masters use. Your brain isn't built for five-hour study marathons. It's built for short, intense sprints. Environmental tricks. Trick your brain. You can't expect your brain to focus when your environment is full of distractions. The brain stores memory based on context. It's called context-dependent learning, meaning when your learning environment and your exam environment are similar, you remember better. The trick? Create a dedicated exam zone in your room. Same lighting, same desk setup. Put your phone somewhere you can't see it, because visual cues cause distraction. That space becomes your neural key. When you sit there, your brain understands. It's time to focus. It's time to study. You don't try to focus anymore. You activate focus. This isn't motivation anymore. It's conditioning your brain. High Retention Formula Let's move on to the final exam formula. The same one memory champions and Harvard research have confirmed. Learn. Recall. Teach. Sleep. Move. Learn actively. Use visual notes, mind maps, or storytelling. Don't just read. Engage with it. Recall. Close the book and challenge yourself. The brain only grows when it struggles. It's called desirable difficulty. Teach. Explain it to a friend, a mirror, or even your cat. When you teach, your brain divides information into logical chunks. In practice, this is called the Feynman technique. Sleep. During deep sleep, your brain replays learning patterns. Lack of sleep equals losing all your effort. Move. Just 10 minutes of walking increases learning by 30%. Exercise releases BDNF, brain-derived neurotrophic factor, which acts like fertilizer for memory. If you do these every day, your learning will shift from short-term anxiety to long-term mastery. Exam Strategy 
the cheat that's not a cheat. Let's move to exam day, the place where others panic, but you stay calm. Pre-exam activation. Five minutes before the exam, quickly summarize everything on paper. This activates neural pathways right before starting. Energy stability. Drink water every hour. Even 2% dehydration reduces focus by 20%. And remember, energy drinks are forbidden. They boost concentration at first, but then cause a sharp crash afterward. Strategic reading. First, just scan the titles and structure for an overall understanding. Second, focus on the depth of the concept. Third, active recall plus problem solving. During the exam, start with what you already know. This creates confidence and momentum. It's a cognitive bias that boosts your entire performance. This isn't cheating. You're using human psychology to your advantage. So when someone asks, how are your grades always so high? Don't say, I studied more. Say, I studied scientifically. Because once you understand how your brain actually works, you stop fighting it and start controlling it. You don't need luck. You need a system. You don't need motivation. You need motion. And now, if you want to study less but score higher, your next step is to watch this video so you can study strategically and achieve your best results in exams.